Hey guys, this is Catherine with Oracle Intuitions. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a weekly zodiac reading for the week leading into April. So from March 28th to April 4th, we're going to be taking a look into the energies of my body spirit as well as relationships with a closing message from the universe. Um, so as you know, this is it's been a hot minute since I've been able to do a weekly reading. As many of the many of you that watch the channel know, uh, last year was a little bit difficult with losing both of our parents and you know just other things kind of going on. So you know having to deal you know with all of uh, the you know the things that happen after people pass away and stuff. So I'm back now and also we're going to be continuing our live shows on Wednesday. So make sure that you click the notification bell so that you do get the notifications on what, of when our live shows are coming on. Uh, as many of you again may know if you're watching the live shows, Brandon did have to move and it's just been a matter of him getting a good Wi-Fi signal in order to for us to be able to do the live shows because you know he is my partner on that and we'll be coming back just as soon as possible it may be this week it may not be until next week but we are trying our hardest to you know come back on and uh to do the live shows for you so in the meantime we are going to be doing the weekly horoscope shows i hope to our uh, weekly horoscope readings i hope to continue these um so again thank you so much for subscribing uh, thanks for clicking the notification bell and let's get into it and let's see what's happening uh, for this week ahead. Also, for uh, those of you that wish a personal reading, make sure you contact me at www.oracleintuitions.com and make sure you follow my Instagram and my Facebook page as well under Oracle Intuitions. Thanks so much. Have a great week and see you soon. Aries, welcome to your weekly reading for March 28th to April 4th. We're going to be taking a look into the energies of the mind, body, and spirit, as well as relationships with the closing message from the universe. Please remember that these are general readings, so they may not resonate with everyone, but I do suggest you take a look into your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs to get a clearer message. <laughs> I meant to add that. All right, let's take a look and see what's coming through. Too many cards. Let me just... Clean that up. This one flipped over. And this one flipped over. So we're going to take those. So within the mind, we're taking a look at what's coming through is the lovers. Within the body, we have the Six of Cups. Beautiful energy. And from spirit, we have the Knight of Swords. I really love this energy, Aries. This is really talking about within your mind. Now, within your mind, we have the lovers. So what this talks about, this could have to do with a soul connection. It doesn't need to be romantic, but it could even be a, a connection within yourself. It's like you connecting with soul, connecting with your heart, allowing yourself to make decisions coming from a place of the heart. All right, so if there is a decision that you have to make, if it doesn't have to do with a romantic relationship, let's say, I feel that it's time now to take a look at how you make your next steps forward coming from the heart rather than within the head. Now, for some of you, this could have to do with a romantic relationship. And what I really get here is it feels as though you're ready to take that move forward. It almost feels like for some of you, you've really been debating. Uh, you might have been really looking into the connection, asking yourself, is this something that I truly want? Is this something that I really want to go forward, you know, towards? It really feels as though you're in this place of ready to make that move um, and this doesn't need to mean that you need to make a physical move towards somebody it's just that you're willing and able and ready to accept and allow love into your life in some way or that you're coming from a place of the heart and it's interesting because we also have the six of cups within the memories or within the body and the six of cups really does can't you know talk about memories so this might be old memories that are coming up this even could be a past person that is making or has made a reappearance in your life and you might be in this place of wondering should I take a step forward should I you know allow this person back into my life there might be a lot of love still there but you know you might be in this place where you're wondering if is this the best move for me at this time and what I'm really getting from spirit is to follow the heart okay in regards to this if this person hurt you in the past and you know, you're feeling, I don't know if I can trust them again. That might be an instinct that you want to follow. But again, it's going to be what your heart is telling you, perhaps 
rather than just the mind. And then we have the Knight of Swords coming in. So this is very much an air energy of, you know, of the mind, right? When they have the air energy, this can be spiritual. It can be thinking. It can be um, Im messages coming in on a more physical form or a movement on a more physical form. What I'm getting here with this Knight of Swords coming through is it really feels like spirit is saying to you now, again, this, you know, this may not resonate with everybody, but I do feel like spirit is saying to you, maybe it's okay to charge ahead, to move forward within this connection uh, or to allow yourself to accept what is being presented to you. It's okay to follow your heart rather than, you know, just within the mind, but it it feels as though there might be some back and forth here as the should I, shouldn't I, should I, should I allow this, shouldn't I allow this, what it, and it feels like to stop, stop and ask yourself what is the heart saying at this moment. So let's get some clarification and see what's coming up. Maybe there'll be some more direct answers that are coming towards you. And again, you know, this is always within your, um, it, it's always within you to take you know, what spirit is saying. You can take it or you can accept it or you can move it aside if you feel that it's not right for you. Let's see what's coming through. All right, first card coming in is we have reflect. Yeah, especially with those memories, right? Reflect, reflect upon the memories. Were these really good memories? Were they bad memories? Did the person maybe, you know, maybe it was just time that you guys separated at that moment because it just wasn't where it was supposed to be at that time or you know maybe you have to really reflect upon the things that how did you feel at that time but here's the other thing I feel like it's time to really ask yourself were they true emotions or was I just in a place of coming from hurt did this person intentionally try to hurt me or was this or was there intention of a negative form that was coming through or did I just perceive it that way? Was that just how I viewed it at that moment? Was I coming from a place that, um, you know, it didn't make me feel good at the time, even though maybe perhaps the person was speaking from their heart or they were just speaking from a place of um, recognizing that they, they weren't ready for something deeper or stronger or committed. And especially with this six of cups coming through, we have this reflect. I feel like it's time to reflect on not only you, but also them and maybe perhaps a combination of the two. All right. And come from a place of truth. That's good. I feel like that that's really important, especially with this knight of swords coming through, come from a place of truth. Second card we have coming in, movement. So again, interesting card because we have this Knight of Swords, which again talks about movement, all right? And it feels like even though what I'm getting from this is I don't feel like you have to rush towards anything. But what I am getting is I feel that by reviewing the past, reviewing the past things that may have happened between you and maybe again, perhaps another person or past um you know, whatever it was that if this doesn't relate to romance, I feel that by reflecting on it, it allows some sort of movement. Movement. It feels like there's some sort of stuck energy going on within maybe perhaps the subconscious or deep inside the core that you need to release. And I feel that by looking, you know, by looking um, into the past, but looking at it from a true set of um, fresh eyes or a fresh perspective that might help some sort of movement within yourself in order to maybe perhaps release something. And we also have the wildling. So it's interesting because the wildling can really talk about um, allowing yourself to be set free, right? The wildlings are really free people, right? If you I guess if you want to watch Game of Thrones or if you want to look at it from that type of viewpoint, right? Um, but the wildlings are free. They're free in their thoughts, free in their thinking, free. And I'm, what I'm getting here is, again, with that movement coming through, it may free you from something. Maybe perhaps something that you've, you know, you've been hanging on to. Maybe something that has actually been impeding you simply because of the fact that you have these past memories that you're not allowing to let go of or past em or emotions from the past that are reflecting 
uh, now or have been reflecting, you know, to you throughout your life. And it kind of feels like what needs to happen is a letting go and something, you know, to be free, to be moved forward, to be let go of, to just be released. So let's get some more clarification and see what's coming in. So this could be some shadow work. It could also be something that spirit wants you to focus on at this time. Let's see what's happening. Okay, first card is Eternal Gatekeeper. Acknowledge, assert, and protect what is right for you. 100%, right? If the memories from the past or things that you've been hanging on to from the past are no longer necessary for you, I feel like it's time to release them, okay? Even open the gate and remove them. But if they are true emotions or if they are true thoughts or they are a true perspective, right? Um, take a look at it and you might be able to just do some healing on it in order to release it. But I feel like right now, especially if there is somebody from the past coming through, it's time to really reflect on what is right for you. What place are you coming from if you decide to accept or reject some sort of offer? All right. You want to be in a place that you're making a true assessment. You're making a true movement forward where you're truly coming from the heart. Second card was repair. Making amends rather than fun times reveals relationships, true constitution. All right. So it feels like, is this a relation? I, it's so, I, I just love the way the cards come through. I really do. But it really feels like, okay, is this a true place? Again, a true place. I keep hearing that. Um, but is this a relationship that could last? Okay. Does it have the constitution to last? Is it just something that's coming from a place of fun? Maybe you missed somebody or maybe you felt like, oh, we had so much fun in the past. Maybe I'll give it another try. But does it, could it stand the test of time? Okay. Does this person's past behavior or maybe even perhaps their current behavior, does it stand the test of time or is it just fun? Right. I mean, you know, fun can be great, but you know, look at these two. You know, they're sitting here, they're knitting, they're, they're making something long term, right? It's a long term constitution. And if that's what you're seeking, it's time to take a look at, you know, whatever, if this is a current relationship or a past relationship coming through, can it stand the test of time is what I get. We also have circles. Clarity begins in the eye of the storm. Again, beautiful energy. Is this part of a circle? Is this part of a circle that you need to release in order to receive some sort of new movement forward? Maybe perhaps you've been hanging on to emotions from the past and not allowing a new relationship to present itself simply because of past emotions. Maybe you're scared to, you know, step into something new because of what happened in the past. Or maybe perhaps you're in a place of, you know, looking at the person, maybe you're currently in a relationship and you're looking at the person that you're with and you're just going, are, are, like, are we just going around circles? Like, does, can this stand the test of time? Is this where I want to be? Or maybe perhaps, you know, you're, you're looking for a relationship and, and now you've decided I'm done. I'm done going around in circles. It's now time for me to look for a relationship that can stand the test of time. All right. So let's get some cards regarding relationships because this should be interesting let's see what this has to do with this might even reveal some more remember that relationships do not need to be uh, romantic they can be friends family and co-workers they may have to do with the relationship with yourself it could even be just a relationship with spirit so let's see what's happening first card coming through the grim reaper the relationship is over no second chances grow and transform your life i feel like for some of you this may have been the place that you were in emotionally like this is done this is done um and this could be again from the past it could even have to do with you know something current but it feels like 
Um, it feels like this is more of a mindset. For some of you, this may be, um, you know, a sign, like something is done and it might be giving you that sign. But what I'm really getting here is that for some of you, um, with this Grim Reaper, you know, coming through, maybe in the past you thought to yourself, okay, I'm never going to go through that again. I'm never going to allow this person back in. And maybe they have reappeared in some way. And now you're really, you know, looking at it and going, should I or shouldn't I? And again, I feel like coming from the heart is going to be super important here. This is going to help make your decision. It also talks about separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning and unsure of future. So again, I, I, I get, I feel like somebody might be coming through. And again, that may not resonate with all of you. Just take it as it resonates. But I feel like for some reason, something is happening. Like somebody might be coming through. Maybe you had a fight with somebody and they're taking that step forward and they're coming, you know, um, to apologize or they've been thinking about you. They've been really missing you. Maybe you guys went through a separation of some sort, whether it's short term, short term or long term. But it really feels like there's something happening here that, again, you have to go into your heart and really make a decision from that place. And then we have ascending. Look at your transcending obstacles, learning expansion, a new phase, preparing for union. So this might be you preparing for union. It might be somebody else preparing for union. But what I'm really getting here as is as you release these old emotions or these old thought patterns or these, um, you know, old uh you know ending the circles from the past it feels like you're ascending and you're going to be able to take a look at you know whatever relationship it is from a different perspective you're going to be able to have a different view towards it and it's going to be a view that is right for you rather than just a reaction from the past or a reaction from how it is that you want to um you know, behave at this particular time, right? First card coming through, we have survival. Yeah, see, this is it. Survival instinct. I feel like for some of you, you may have, you may be reacting from a survival instinct, right? You may be reacting from, okay, well, you know, they're, they did this to me in the past, or they did this, or they did that. And I just feel, you know, you, you might, where you might be in that place of like, okay, it's, it's, it's just done. I'm never going to forgive them. I'm never going to let them in again, whatever it is. But I do feel that for some of you, you may have been reacting from a place of instinct rather than, um, truth within yourself. And again, it's time to take a look at the heart. Maybe once you take a look there, you'll realize, yeah, I was actually acting from a place that was warranted at that time, or I was feeling the emotions that were warranted at that time. But, but you know, you're just going to have to go in. I really feel like that this is going to make a huge difference. We also have the element of spirit. Allow, allow, trust divine timing. We have the ether, prime elements, source, energy, Akashic. I really feel, especially with Akasha here, this is about, you know, past, like past lives. It could be lessons that we need to learn. Things that are in our, you know, our Akashic records, right? And maybe this was somehow a lesson that just needed to be learned. Whether it was a lesson on allowing yourself to follow your heart. Or maybe it was a lesson of ending circles in some way. Let's get one more. Ladybug. A vibrant, abundant life, happy, comfort, leisure, good well, good health, balance, wishes are coming true. I feel like guys here, again, you know, with that ascension card coming through, it feels like what spirit is really saying to you is, you know, trust spirit at this moment. Allow yourself to go in, look in deep within yourself, see what is, what is really the truth of a situation, especially within yourself. Um, sometimes we're surprised. Sometimes if we take another look at something, we may see where somebody else was coming from at that moment. And instead, you know, especially if it was quite a while ago or if it was years ago, or maybe you were just in a different place, it doesn't mean that you should allow this person in it, but it also doesn't mean that you shouldn't allow them in or you shouldn't give them another chance. It's just really saying, take a look, do the healing, and maybe look at it from a different perspective at this moment card coming in from the universe we have dream thief refusal of the call i love this um because it really fits with the rest of the reading it's like the refusal of the call 
Um, I feel like spirit is really asking you to, again, go in, go in deep, go in and really take a look because you don't want to miss an opportunity that could be being presented to you at this moment, whatever it has to do with. If you're hanging on to old feelings or old emotions or things that no longer belong to you, it could be you, you know, um, not accepting a call towards something, whether this is a person or a job or, you know, just some sort of opportunity that's coming through if we're letting our past feelings get in the way. Um, but again, you have to take a look at things from a different perspective, look at it in a different light, and then make your decision from the heart. So thank you so much for watching Aries. I hope you have a great week. Many blessings and see you next time.